What have we today? We made a vegetable stir fry with an egg-free lo mein noodle. What's in the stir fry? In the stir fry is shiitake mushrooms, zucchini, broccolini, and spinach. Ooh. And an egg-free noodle. Correct, egg-free. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Love. This is a perfect go-to. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow, it's good. That really looks healthy. Delish. All right, gonna eat my lunch. See y'all. Wouldn't be a video without you saying thank you so much. So today's one meal a day, plant-based plan. Thank you, Susie Cameron. Today's is one of my favorites is penne pasta. This is gluten-free penne pasta, so it's pasta made from corn. Corn pasta, yes. Corn pasta. And um, with veggies. So weight watchers, which I know a lot of people are, and a lot of people are not. Sadie, please! Stop it! Um, Pasta is five points. And the rest of this is like zero points, right? Yeah, sauce is zero. There's no there's no um, olive oil at all. No olive oil at all, let's taste this. Look at how pretty that is. Now, y you could not be happy with that lunch. Lean in, plant-based. Mm. It's delicious, you want some? Mm. Okay, no, can't have any, delicious, delicious. And easy, right? Easy. Very easy, yeah. So easy. Classic green juice. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And this is what we made today. It, what's it called, Chef Raymond? It's called a tartine. A tartine. So everybody knows avocado toast. I eat it almost every morning. Today we decided to do it without avocado, which is fewer points. And it's just tomato and asparagus and peppers and a little radishes on whole grain toast. So if you're on Weight Watchers, the toast is the only thing that's a point right here. And so that would be two points and that would be four points. Really one is enough. And oh, oh, crunchy, cause I like mine crunchy, but you can toast it however you like it. And easy, easy, easy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it all. And I see you. I see you. Very good. Good doggies today. No noise. See, we had a conversation before. We had a conversation that they would be quiet. And it happened. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Good doggies. Good doggies. in the Apple Carnegie Library Store. Now, this was built in 1903. It's one of the first public structures, first of all, anywhere, certainly in Washington, D.C., that allowed black people to come in and be a uh, participant in the whole reading process. So this library, even in 1903, never was segregated. And now Apple has taken over the Carnegie Library and turned it into an Apple store. And we're having our first Apple Book Club on Apple TV Plus from this very store. During the era of Jim Crow and segregation. But this library, this library was the first public space in Washington, D.C. where African Americans were welcome. It was never segregated. The control room is in the closet. <laughs> in the back of the Apple store. I love that. This is behind the scenes for real. All right. Fix your iPhone, too. And you can fix our iPhone, too. Yeah. Oh. Library store. 
audiences out there are so excited. You know why I'm excited? Because every single person sitting in that audience has actually read the book. Read the book. And we're all here to talk books, man. These are my people. This is my tribe. I've come home to my tribe. We're here at the Carnegie Apple Store and we just finished our book club discussion with Ta-Nehisi Coates for Oprah's Book Club! Yeah! 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 I thought overall we were, we were generally, really, we were, we were vibing, weren't we? We were, very much so. Yeah. You're the easiest person to talk to. No, I think you are. That's what we're saying about you. You're so easy yeah. with, I love it when you say, look, I don't want to say this. You know, when I looked out at that audience, mm. what I love was the diversity. Yeah, no, I was sure. Y'all did a good job. I don't know who pulled that together. They yeah, did my, team, my team, my team. Well, no, team. they did a great job. Yeah. They did yeah. a great job. Yeah. Yeah. I pulled one of my old bookers from the Oprah. That's what we're good at. Wow. Is, is finding people from all walks of life. No, y'all did it. Really? Didn't you look out there and think that that is a great mixture of all kinds of people? I gotta tell you, I'm still a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I, mean, I always tell me writers prepare themselves to fail. They prepare themselves for no one to read and to be okay with that. And so for this, I mean, this is like, what? It's mm -hmm. like you thought you were going to play for like a small club with 100 people. And then you walk out and it's Yankee Stadium. You yeah. Know? In the book business, we're always worried about extinction. Like we're always worried about we're done. People are going to stop reading. We got to compete yeah. with movies. We got to compete yeah. with TV. So what you do is so important. Oh, it's so, true. so essential. It's so, so essential. I am you know, I was raised on books, came up on books. It's not even about the books I write. I love books. You know, um, so what you do, I mean, for me to be a first-time novelist and for this to happen. Oh. Well, I mean, you can feel the it. enthusiasm, right? Yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. No, it's real. Thank you. 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 All right, now we're preparing a beet burger. This is Chef Robert from True Foods, who's doing a beet burger that I am sampling here at my own kitchen table. Nice. And what I am agreeing to sacrifice myself for the public. <laughs> <laughs> and try it. And, and try it. And we were so To make confident. sure it's okay for all of you, all right? We were very confident with Chef Robert. We called it the unbeatable burger. Unbeatable burger. We call it we're not un serving these yet, are we? We are. Sure. We, we just are. started. Okay. That's oh, I thought I was doing this for the people. That's what I thought. She was approving it or disapproving it. No. I know. But they're it's already, already serving it. The people already have it. The people have the it. The people have spoken, too, and they, and they like it. They, they like it? it? Yeah. So what is it made of? This is, I'm testing the unbeatable burger. So we've got fresh yes. beets, like garbanzo beans, are the, the bulk of it. And then uh, some red quinoa, uh, oats. Ready. So what's today's concoction? So looks like a this looks like a concoction. What's this? So right here we have a mushroom and roasted pear bruschetta. Oh, I love bruschetta. Mushroom and roasted pear bruschetta. That looks hard. hard. It's crispy. It's just no. I mean hard to do. No, it's okay. It's not that bad. Oh. Mm. Mm. I like it. I don't even need the pear itself. I don't know if I like mushrooms and pears together. But y'all may like that. I just like the mushrooms. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I like mine better with just the mushrooms. No more pears. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just telling you the truth. But, and this is a pea soup? It's the pea soup, yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But it sounds good, mushrooms and pears. Mm. Yeah, I like mine better with just mushrooms, but okay. Pea soup. What kind of peas? Uh, split peas, so dried split peas, soak them overnight, and then we did a little onion, carrot, and celery, and then mm. we garnished it with potatoes. Oh, with that's asparagus. good. That's good. This was good too. I mean, I like it, but better without the pears. Let's do a pear something. I think pear and a salad, not with my mushrooms. There you go. I'm eating it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So today's one meal a day plan comes 
from my own cookbook. Uh, hello, I'm not trying to sell a cookbook because it's already been out for years, but it's farro with peas, asparagus, pea pesto, and cured olives. It's just one of my this is asparagus, hello, and peas, farro, and these are olives. I love olives and olives and pea pesto. Pea, let me see how much there. Pine nuts, hmm. I'm not gonna do all of them because you know I'm counting points. Pine nuts, pine nuts, a lot of points. And this is um, non dairy cheese. Okay. And little, ah, there we go. Mix it all together. We ah, leaves here and I think I put a little too many of these in there, but listen, delicious. I need a little more pea pesto. Farrow, peas, asparagus, pea pesto, and cured olives. Delicious, delicious. Delicious, agreed? Agreed. Agreed.